Hi, welcome to the installation video about Arch Merged and Arch Merged with XFCE. So I, this, this video has been created already in regards with Budgie, but it's always a good thing to re, uh, remake this uh, tutorial because VirtualBox is not that difficult, but it's, it might be. So we're going to make an Arch Merged version of XFCE. Now, when you type this, he knows it's Arch Linux 64 bits. So that's interesting just by the word of Arch. If you type something completely different, he'll not know it. It's just a drop down. But there you go. I have it set all, uh, set it correct. Now I have six, 16 uh, gigabytes. So I'm giving half to it to the system. That's common sense, basically. Next, create a virtual hard disk now. Create, next next and then this one is important i tend to give these days around 20 25 gig to the system he'll take i don't i think about uh, four or eight i don't know we'll see in a bit in a, in a few screens on he gives a few of them away for the the swap so 25 is what i take and then you go into settings system I've set this one, but I did not set the processor. So he's getting one processor out of eight. So I'm going to give him four out of eight. And uh, I enable this one. Not sure if it's necessary. Um, and then display the same here. Half, 50-50. Sounds like common sense to me. We don't play anything, but well, enable 3D acceleration. Can't hurt, I suppose. And then, okay, that's it. We're set to go. The only thing I need to do is the optical drive that's empty and I've downloaded. Well, we, you can at this point in time, you can download the 6.1.1 and a few weeks time you'll get the 6.2.1. So here you go. We just get the latest Arch Merged from SourceForge and in the website archmerged.info, there is this download button. Um, we go ahead and we kick off. It's going to my other screen, so I'm gonna move it over here. Best tip ever, um, tell the system at some point in time if you can to resize to the, the correct size. But the thing is, better press already Ctrl F, which is full screen. And when it's Ctrl F, that's the difference. When it's full screen, then you have uh, normally he understands that he can use all the pixels on your screen. So let's do that. So we boot up with Ctrl F and let him figure out what the resolution of your screen is. Voila, everything, every pixel has been used on my screen. That's great. And now we just go ahead like always you decide what English it is, uh, what language you use. I just made a tutorial in Italian. It's a great uh, way to just install XFCE to any language you want. And you just choose what language you uh, like to install it. And then next, Arch Merch is coming from Brussels and Belgium. And next, and then we're going to the Belgian keyboard. Yes, I know it's too bad, but I've learned to type with Azerty and not QWERTY. So it's difficult for me for all these special characters to find them. And then next, and this is what you get. A lot of questions we get on the forum are always about dual booting, triple booting, and so on. I don't, well, recommend you to try it. And if you try, well, ask your questions elsewhere, not just humor, but, um, just do this one, erase disk, get rid of everything and give the SSD or the hard disk everything. And if you want to experiment, yeah, that's good. But why not buy different SSDs, different hard disks and pop in a different SSD, give it to SUSE, give it to Solus completely. And then if you want to try another distro, pop out an SSD, put in a new one and try uh, clean install, erase disk for this operating system and give it all it needs. Then you're not frustrated and losing time in your life with uh, figuring out all this dual boot stuff. So I'm going to erase disk. <coughs> What's your name? I think you know by now. 
That is Eric. Merged with a D. The D stands for Documentation Development. You check out the website. And we're making XFCE. Another thing I should mention, don't stay in this. There's nothing to see here. This is just the passing through thing. You don't, this is not a live DVD. This is not meant to be it. So you just install it and then get rid of it. So here you see the swap, it's gonna be eight. So I'm left with 16.5 gigabytes. So that's okay. All right, next. Well, the fun of Arch Merged for us, for me, for other members, team members, is that we get, as it were, a red Lego, 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 you know the game, Lego plate. And now we're gonna build things on it. We're gonna build desktop, awesome. We're gonna build scripts on it. We're gonna make BSP WM. We're gonna install Budgie on it. So it, for us, it's, it's a, a building block. Uh, and then we install a, a desktop, a browser, a terminal, and so on. You decide what you take because we have scripts and these scripts can be edited. You just type ahead and change them. That's the whole idea and that's gonna be the fun for us. I've been years on Cinnamon, on Linux Mint Cinnamon, so it's gonna be fun to be back on Cinnamon, but then on Arch. So it's gonna be, well, just plain fun to install all these and set up all these uh, environments, desktop environments, and then tweak them because that's actually what we do like is that uh, the end result of being a nice um, way to greet us every day. So as you can see, it's not taking very long. Why? Because not lot, there's not a lot uh, of things that are installed. It's just uh, the plain arch, no desktop. Now, since we are in VirtualBox, you see still this thing and people might think, Eric, when I press enter, I'm still in the live ISO. Of course you are. So now you have to boot existing OS. So they, we have just installed an operating system. So now you have to skip it. If you don't want to see this in uh, control, sorry, control F, if you don't want to see this, what should you do? You should power off the machine and then tell him that there is no ISO anymore, there is no optical drive, there is no DVD anymore. And if you start then again with Control F, then it says, okay, there's no DVD, so let's just start from the hard disk, you know? And without pressing anything, it's just booting. And that's how it will go on your SSD, because we're now in VirtualBox to show you guys. You've made a login and you've made a password. Let's go ahead and do that. So. That's it, and that's it. And here we are, LS, nothing. Present working directory, home Eric. Anything else, LSB maybe, minus A, A for all. Don't know what it is, don't know what I'm typing. Ask man, the man is the manual of a program, a application. And if you go down there or up there, here there is dash A is all. Q to quit. And that's what I typed. Give me everything you know about this thing. And it's Arch Merged 6.1.2 and it's named Kirk. That's it for this video. Next time we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna do the installation of XFCE. Finishing off with a quick alias. These are the things you can type in and mirror is the one that's very important because that's gonna get the fastest Arch Linux servers in your neighborhood. And PKSYUA, the last one, is going to yoghurt everything and install your updates. All right, cheers for now.